Maybe I don't wanna know the way home. Taking on a journey, I got places to go. Wanna chase a miracle? It's possible. You just gotta open the door. Darling, it's cold. Day, of course, uh, yeah. lots of people in the mood today. Yeah, I know. I noticed about six or seven <laughs> boats all heading the same yeah. direction we're going, which is not school surprising. holidays here in Australia. Uh, first week of school holidays, beautiful weather. So, I think every charter boat that can be chartered has been chartered. <laughs> so, um, and it's uh, there's about half a dozen, oh, there's probably about 10 little beaches uh, around here that are beautiful diving. So, you know, if you're you've hired a cat or a boat for seven ten days this is a place it looks like they all come to <laughs> but yeah, anyway it's close to airly so if the snorkeling is meant to be really well it is really good and meant to be good in numerous bays and it's only a couple hours from airly right so you know you're so close to everything um would make sense to just shoot straight out from there definitely oh what are you having for breakfast um egg is it I can't be bothered to put the stove on. I don't don't like having the heat or the because it's an open flame mm, with hair on the front yes, of me. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> true. Yes. Yeah, so um, microwave my egg and yeah, oh, okay. put it with some avocado and whatnot, and that's my breakfast. You frightened me yesterday when you found some weird bugs in your wheat bix. So I'm a little scared of my oats. I think I bought those from the Gold Coast. Yeah, brought the, the bugs up with you. The scary it? thing is, you know, I'd eaten most of the wheat bix, so... <laughs> just... I didn't have to have my protein powder there for... A... No, you I was getting... getting it naturally. Oh, just, it just yeah. creeps me out. Well, you know the wheat bix box, you can't... Wheat bix box, you can't seal it. It's just that little... Little... Yeah, it's got just... Cardboard flap on the top. stuff yeah. in there, yeah. Yeah, so anyway. Oh, dear. So, yeah, so... To, and I've just... She's gone back down to sleep, which is good, and... We've been fed and all the jobs are done, bottles are done, washing, whatever, everything's done, so it's just feed me and then um, we can plan our next move up. We're just going to head around to all the bays and I guess we'll just see, keep going until we find a mooring ball or somewhere that's not as busy, I, I guess. But because the wind's coming up on Friday now from the south and then swinging around to the east, we might. Like I was saying, we might go all the way around and go and visit the south portion mm. um, over the next few days before the wind comes up and then yeah. go back into Airlie for a couple of days while that's blowing around. And Because I feel most of these boats are just going to go like we're doing bay hopping. Yeah. So we're basically all just going to be moving. I'm going to try and leapfrog them. Together, yeah. I think that might not be a bad idea. I saw one of the Mackerel Bay or something like that. Well, someone had said it was the best snorkeling. Yeah. And the whole Hook Island, so I mean, I don't know how you can top what we've been seeing so far, mm. but every time we go to a new bay, I go, oh no, this is actually better than the mm. last one, so I don't know, it's pretty amazing. Um, we are going to get some footage up about that, um, all the snorkeling stuff, it's just a matter of going through it all and getting the time to to do all that, so. Yeah, you can imagine with, um, with the baby Hudson, she's pretty well... Look, the, the beautiful thing is, and, and because of our situation, she's basically always on us. Yeah, just... Yeah, like so the there's no sort of putting in her cough to go to sleep for two or three hours. She, like, last night, she slept for eight hours straight, so she's great. Oh, yeah, night time, she's brilliant. During the day, I mean, she does have naps, but she's now doing power naps, so mm -hmm. 20 to 30 minutes, and then she's awake. And as much as... It's like a catch-22 because you want her to be an active and, you know, awake and an alert baby. 
but then there's times where you go, God, can't you just be a lump? Can't you just want to just sit there yeah. like a little potato and do nothing? But she's just not that baby. Like, no, she wakes up yeah. and it's all go. She's wanting to play with something. She wants this. She wants you to, you know, engage with her. And she's always wanting to look around. So this thing has been the best thing ever because I just turn her around. She faces out and she can sort of see everything that's going on. And, and then she usually falls asleep naturally in that. Like she just, like before she was facing outwards fell asleep so then I just turned her around so it's a little more supportive on her head um, and then I can continue doing what I'm doing. Yeah, she's very alert, always oh, has yeah. been since day one onto her. Yeah. Following everything around with her eyes, now she's following. Now she's grabbing at it. And yeah. So, which is great. That's It is, that's what you want out of a child. Yeah. It just yeah. makes it, um, you just have to spend a little bit more energy, you know, yeah. keeping her amused, which amused. is fine. Um, but yeah, and, and unfortunately at the moment when she goes down, I'm so tired. Um, oh yeah, it's just, it's nothing exciting here. It's literally just a... I've already had breakfast. I had muesli. You did. You did, yeah. You, you, you had the muesli. Um, yeah, so yeah, no, I, I tend to lie down with her at night time. There's a bit of a routine in the evening. As the sun starts to go down, she starts to work out that she's... It's about to, it's an avocado, I think he thought it was cheese. Cheese, yeah. Um, yeah, so she sort of knows, she gets a bit, a bit, not grisly, I wouldn't use that word, but she sort of gets a bit like, okay, I'm starting to get tired. I know this is the end of my day. Um, so usually the routine in the afternoon is we tend to get her like ready for bed and then feed her right up so she's full and then you usually just amuse her for a while. She loves music. So like last night we had the music on, she just fell asleep in my arms. So I should have gone down and put her down, but I stayed up with her for a little bit. We tried then... to grab 10 minutes to ourselves yeah. where we could sit out the back with the lights on and the yeah. music on and watch the fish. But And then nah. when I took her downstairs, um, she woke back up again, but that was okay. Cause I just fed her again and she fell straight back to sleep. But yeah, it's um, that's kind of her routine. And then I tend to be so tired, especially well, one, I've got the baby on me probably 90% of the day because you're always busy with, with the boat and that's tiring. And then with all the traveling and the moving and even you just don't think of things like when you're standing on the boat and it's rocking, you're constantly bracing yourself. You're not just like standing there all casually. You sort of always got to be on. Um, so, you know, plus we're in snorkeling every day and stand up paddle boarding and so she goes to sleep and so do I. <laughs> There hasn't been much boat stuff the last couple of days. It's been no. Although, mind you, I'm putting the dinghy in and out, you know, putting the hammock yeah, up, putting yeah. the swim ladder up. Yes. You know. Oh, there's always cleaning, something. The snorkeling yeah. gear. Yeah, know, that's blah, right. Blah, there's blah. always something, and then you know where you try to relax at the end of the day, and you know by that stage we're sort of shattered. I mean, even dinner, I've got to get better with the food prepping because we are lazy eaters. Um, we just can't be bothered to go and make extravagant meals at the end of a long day. So I should food prep again like I did last week and then be we sandwich. Grab them. Perfect. Yeah, I know what I have a glass of wine. Wow, look at me go. Um Yeah, but probably need to be a little bit better with that, I think. Um mm. But that's okay. We're getting there. Yeah. So yeah, so that's our morning I'll have some brekkie and then we'll probably start the engines and yep. Drop this mooring ball and head off. Everyone's yep. beaten us already, so most people have. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. We said we'd get up early and beat them. Uh, yeah. Well, she slept for eight hours. I yeah. had to wake her to change her nappy and give her a bit of a feed at the eight-hour mark, and then she fell straight back to sleep for another two hours. So yeah. that was um, wonderful. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, she is. She's a good girl. She's had a few big days. I, I do think that her being so active is really helping her sleeping habits at yeah. night. Yeah. She cut her little toe yesterday. Thank God it's only a tiny little Sort cut. of shaved it. Really yeah, well, the, beach, the beaches are like th like quite big grains of, of course, sand yeah. and little minute but broken up shells. And for the first time, she was sitting on the blanket and she felt the sand and she loved it. So she was kicking her feet all in the sand. Um, she thought that was quite cool. And then I picked her up and I noticed it. I was like, is that blood? She didn't care. She didn't even know. So I went and washed her off in the salt water and she didn't complain about that either. She didn't even flinch at it, which is a good thing, I guess. Um, so I just put some salve on it. And of course, Boo Boo, you know, has to come and inspect and make sure he gives his you know, healing tongue 
gives it plenty of leaks, but no, she looks perfectly fine today, so. It's not even red. Um, no, not at all, no, no, thank goodness, so. Yeah, but um, yeah, another day of exploring. All right then. Um, you to show the world what we're looking at out there. Yeah, beautiful morning. Oh, some people, as just mentioned, moving away already. Uh, we've lost a couple of people from in here. Um, another beautiful day of no, of, no, of no wind, so it's just been perfect to hang out. Water temperature is beautiful. Air temperature is beautiful. So we're basically in winter here, and it's probably about. Oh, I think 25, 27 degrees around that temperature yesterday. And the waters are, the water's probably about 20, uh, 22, 20, 22 or something, I think. It's a bit, when you first get in, you know, it's obviously a bit cooler, but by the time you adjust, which doesn't take long, it's absolutely beautiful. You can stay in there all day. So uh, left uh, Butterfly Bay this morning, we're just heading around past another couple of beautiful anchorages, but the wind's supposed to come up a little bit uh, at the end of the week, so it's really calm at the moment, so we thought we'd just go down and have a look at some some of the southerly, easterly anchorages on Hook Island, uh, while it's still really quiet. So that's the plan for the moment. say grizzly that's probably an over exaggeration she just wants to be busy all the time yeah. you can't sit down and relax well, she's had a busy day she's been yeah. out in the dinghy watching you know with dad watching mum snorkel and, yeah yeah that was quite a fair while yeah that's true and she's she was under up. the umbrella in the dinghy of course so yeah, she was yeah. very well set up she had her little hat on her sunscreen her, oh. her rashy and then she had her she was under the umbrella, yeah. um, so she wasn't just sitting out in the sun. Which no, is, no, we, 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 no, we wouldn't. Yeah, and I had my hat on. We're very sun wise. Yeah, we are. Yes, yeah. Except for Mummy, who was snorkeling in bikinis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With no sunscreen yeah, on. Yeah, no hat. On the way back, I noticed. Anyway. I'm oh, I, I'm really good with my face. Um, yeah. That's every day winter wet yeah. bay. It's always well, you, got fifty got plus on it. But and, and yeah, they they when you could go to the skin test, they say don't come back. Yeah, he basically said, oh, I'll yeah. see you in two years, but yeah. whatever. But I, I, I go every year. Yeah. I'm not going to take that as well, gospel. Where well, I've had a couple of things cut out, so. Yeah. 
I spent my whole youth growing up at the beach and surfing on the water. Yeah, genetics as well too, you know, because back then, I guess, no one wore sunscreen. Even my era, no one wore sunscreen. Like, I just didn't bother. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, back then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, back then. <laughs> when Jesus was a boy. Yeah. <laughs> or was it Adam? BC. It was one of those biblical um, terms. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, yeah, the... the um, the sunscreen was just not a thing like actually it was it was reef oil when i you used to yeah. slather yourself in reef oil so you get a well, better tan like gone in those like, days after your nose had blistered twice you put zinc cream on it right well my theory was the first like kick of summer i went to the beach i got fried i'd go bright red but i would never burn after that i'm sure i was burning but it wasn't visible burn because i would go brown so i never really noticed and Back then it was tan lines. Who's got the best tan line? You know, you could pull your little straps down and... But anyway. Yeah. Um, so we've had an amazing day. The, the, yeah. the snorkeling here is just... The Aren't you horror. glad oh. I said to keep you moving? You yeah. did. You nailed it, honey. Oh, well, I was doing a bit of research and, I mean, everywhere's spectacular here. Yeah, this would get absolutely blown out with a sour east. Oh, I'd be so. terrible in that, which mm. is blowing up on Friday. Yeah. Apparently, well, so so far. Um, oh, yeah, no, she's awake. No, she's been looking yeah. at the camera. Um, well, yeah, so we might as well make the most out of the next few days on this yeah. side of the island and and the, check it all out. But the music's off. Oh no, the music, darling! What bad light. Mm. Um, but yeah, we got the whole anchorage to ourselves, so we'll show you out here. I had a sugar scoop shower. Just why not? Um, another calm as day. Like it is just amazing. Oh yeah, so sugar scoop is this. This is the entrance in and out of the water and boat and whatever. And we've got like a setup down here that's hot and cold water and it's fresh water. Um, so yeah, we can you can shower here if you need to, or if you've just been in the water all day and you come out, you can have a rinse off before you walk salty stuff all over the boat. I don't really live by that rule. I think I walk salty stuff all over the boat for ever. Um, but this is the whole anchorage. So, Adam? Uh, okay, Boo Boo's down here. Boo, what are you doing? What's in there? Cobwebs. Eating cobwebs. So, that's looking out of the opening. It's quite, the bay's like it's set back in a fair way. So, um, we were looking up, looking it up, it sort of had amazing reviews about snorkeling or whatever, but it is a fair way back. Um, so, yeah, it's, there's nobody else here. It's just unbelievable. That's with Sunday Island straight over there. So, um, off the, around the left side of that is uh, Whitehaven Beach, you look at a little way down. We're not going to go there this week. We're going to go straight down through the middle um, of these two islands here. And then we're going to go around the south side and check that out before the wind blows up. And then we're going to go tuck back in early. Um, Hudson's got to have her vaccinations. So we need to be back in there for that. With the weather as well, it's probably safer just to be back in there. I mean, mind you, it's not going to be bad, but we just want to be tucked away. But yeah, got a few bits and pieces to do. Stand up paddleboard, still hanging out there. Yeah, we've got a few a few things ticked off the, the list today. Boo boo, boo boo. Look at this dog, honestly. He just hangs over the edge. He cannot swim really well because all of that flew from his tiny little paws. But he tempts fate and gives mum grey hairs. Boo, you don't need to hang over, mate. It's a freaking nightmare. As you can see, our decks need to be cleaned. They're pretty dirty, so that'll be another job when we get back. And this is one of our sails. This is our big parasailer, so we're just sussing it out. Um, hasn't been used much, apparently, so... Yeah, we're going to get that out, possibly in the next... Mm, maybe a couple of weeks, but we'll see. Checking that out. And then basically this afternoon now, we're just going to hang out. Hudson's already showered and cleaned up, ready for her nighttime routine. And we will attempt to have some dinner, 
put her down and maybe get some chill time. Yeah, Saba Bay. All to ourselves. Uh, Boo is going over the spinnaker sock. He's not convinced that, uh, that we've, um, we've found everything in it. Uh, it seems like it's half missing. No one knows how, to, how what, what it should do and what it should do. <laughs> like everything on this boat. Boo is having a good look. Half missing. There's, there's the bottom. The control line's missing, but, um, and there's nowhere for them to attach. And it just seems like it's a brand new. I don't think it's been used because she can't. It hasn't been. Oh, no, absolutely. That, <laughs> that, that, that's white rope. Look not how been pristine used. it is. It's, it's crazy. It's how, how many years old? Uh, it was made, the guy told me, 2011. Yeah, March 20, 2011. Uh, 12 years old and, and has got a bit of dirt on it. No. And the reason why it hasn't been used is because. You can't. No bottom control line. Oh, but the sail would be brilliant. You just have it's a one use, actually one use sail, one use. Spinner. Yeah, just put it up and cut it free. Yeah, put it up. Can't get it down. Anyway, yeah, yeah. We'll have to get something made when we get back to the Gold Coast, but yeah, it's unfortunate because it's a perfect sort of sail for these uh, conditions, and it'll be perfect sail for our trip back as well because uh, we should have. Uh, we'll just have to get the big boy out. Yeah, I'm already yeah. here. Yes, um, the big boy sale. Sorry, I didn't know you had your. <laughs> it's all right, I'm repaying the favour. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it goes both ways, eh? Hey? <laughs> good morning, sweetheart. Oh, good morning. Or sweethearts. <laughs> yeah, which one are we talking to there? Mm, that's the yeah, absolutely gorgeous morning. Mm -hmm. um, we're at Saba Bay still. Mm -hmm. This weather's just been phenomenal. Just not a breath of wolf wind for for probably what four or five days now. Yeah, not ideal if you want to sail around the Whit Sundays, but when you're in an anchorage like this, well, you don't want any wind. Oh, the beautiful thing about Whit Sundays is you can motor. You know, no, prob it's prob close. <laughs> yeah. Anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour mm -hmm. between anchorages. And um, so really it's, it's, more, it's more of a hassle to put the sail up. Definitely the, we wouldn't be putting the main sail up around here, but we'll probably put it up to shoot back into Airlie uh, in the next couple of days because the wind's supposed to come up. Mm. That just gives us a good opportunity to go back in there do some video editing, a few bits and pieces. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, I could find worse places to have to go and hide out when the weather turns bad. Yeah, so we've got a few days of, of um, southerlies coming up. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go and hang out at early and yeah. do our video editing. So uh, plenty of footage. The best thing I think about uh, having Starlink on board is we've always got music, which is really good. Yeah, till I work <laughs> out how to download it all. Yeah. I keep saying I'm going to do that, and then I. Yeah, we should. We should I probably should do, do that. But um, so I'm eating breakfast. Just in case Elon cuts us off, or oh, she's got the sun in her eyes. There, there you go. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had my back to the camera, and I didn't want to. Hudson's has been going really well. She's been mm -hmm. growing her hair. Oh yeah, she's yeah. got quite the crop. She's quite the little crop going yeah, on let's now. Go look at that. We oh. were very concerned about her hair factor when she was born. Yes, she was but. Little old man with a receding hairline. But she's doing a great job now. Look at this. Look oh, she's sleeping so much at night. Camp. Look, look at that. She's going oh. fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's sleeping. She mm. sleeps all night through, basically. So yeah, I yeah. woke her. I usually she doesn't really wake. I usually need to empty myself, so I either have to express or Your put boobs. her on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I sort of roll over, like put her on there, and she just sort of sleep eats, and then just sort of falls back asleep. But that's just enough to, you know, stop me having to get up and express. Mm -hmm. um, and then she's full straight back, like she, yeah. And that's usually after about seven or eight hours of sleep, and then I um, put her back down, and she usually sleeps again for a couple hours. And now we're at that morning stage, where she's been up for a little while now, so she's fully fed and changed, and got all her sunscreen and everything on. We put that on her every day, no matter what. Oh, absolutely. A couple of times a day, but yeah. definitely first thing in the morning and then 
Let's prime her up. The, well, there's just so much incidental sun here on the boat. Yeah. Like you're not sitting directly in it sun baking, but I mean that for example over. is coming in, you know, yeah. so yeah. we don't want a beautiful skin to get burnt. Reflection out. off the water, reflection oh, off the deck yeah, of the boat. We found that out the hard way, the reflection yeah. off the water one day. <laughs> that was Australia Day. Yeah. <laughs> sitting out on the sugar scoop, I was pregnant as thought oh this is lovely we put the umbrella up and I'm like under the umbrella sitting there thinking this is fabulous and the next thing I'm like why is my skin getting itchy I was like, it's all red reflection off the water yeah. forgot all about that little factor but um I'm all right I, I was just about white, to say <laughs> egg white avocado wrap so. I was just about to say I'll let you have your breakfast it's I'll just good. do a quick scan around the anchorage from outside mm -hmm. uh, you can see the water's beautiful. You can't see, but there's all these amazing reefs under here. The day boats will be coming out. Um, the diving boats from early with with people will be zooming out here, no doubt, in a little while. Uh, which really doesn't matter because the fish are so sort of used to it. I suppose they. Um, it's not as if they scare the fish away, so it's beautiful. We'll get in the dinghy and do a little bit of a recce of the bay. Oh, there's just so much reef here. It's just a matter of picking out which is uh, which is the best for the coral on the reef, which we've which we've found. I'm just on a mooring buoy here, so we don't anchor. Just on buoys, so it doesn't, uh, you know, anchor doesn't mess up the, the bottom or any reef or potentially people getting their anchors stuck on on um, coral bombies yes yeah, another day of uh, loving the wit sundays <laughs> Thank you for watching and please support us by clicking the subscribe button below.